Hello and welcome to my first ever guide. Today, we will be talking about the duel inside the Lubum Savage. Before we get started, you need to make sure you have the actions Lost Dispel and Lost Perception as they are required to complete the duel. Without them, you will certainly fail. Also on top of that, you will need resistant potion kits, about 3 of them, and resistant tree razors, in case something goes wrong. It is advised to enter as a DPS to beat the DPS sec and for the buff to be worth it afterwards. The boss will start by casting Surge of Vigor. You need to dispel immediately as it is a nasty damage up buff and the boss will kill you in about 2 auto attacks. After that he will cast Unrelenting Charge, charging at you 3 times and knocking you back and dealing damage. It is advised to arm's length so you don't get knocked into the outside of the arena which will lead into instant death. Once that happens, he will jump north of the arena, casting Entrapment and Lethal Blow right after. Entrapment will summon traps covering most of the arena, leaving a small safe area north and south. At the same time, he will do a massive knockback. To avoid that, you will need to go north right behind him at the very edge of the arena. After the cast is finished, you will end up at the south of the arena. At this point, you will have a minefield right in front of you, and while needing to get past it, the boss will start casting Lethal Blow, which is a massive AoE covering the entire arena, except a small part north. To resolve that, you need to discover the traps with Lost Perception as fast as possible so you can get to the safe spot behind him before the cast is finished. Stepping into a trap will result in instant death. There's a lot of trap patterns, and some of them are really sneaky so pay close attention. After the cast is finished, he will cleave the arena, destroying all the traps, making it safe again. Right after that, he will cast Vicious Swipe, which is an AoE around him followed by a knockback. For this one, you only need to step out of the AoE and then go close to the boss once it's gone to get knocked back safely. Next mechanic will be Focus Tremor and Forceful Strike. You will start by casting Focus Tremor, summoning 4 square AoEs one by one that cover up the entire arena. These will go off in order. At the same time, he will jump to a random corner, casting Forceful Strike, which is a massive AoE, again covering almost the entire arena, leaving only a small safe spot behind him. To dodge this, you will need to first identify which order the square AoEs will go off first. Avoid those and then run to the corner behind the boss to avoid Forceful Strike. The next mechanic will be Inescapable Entrapment. He will again summon traps around the entire arena this time, only leaving a cross as a safe spot in the middle. For this mechanic, you will need to discover the traps, which will have different symbols on top of them. These symbols indicate the type of trap. This is very important as you will need to step in one of those traps to resolve the mechanic that happens right after. There's three types of traps you will need. The frog one, the ice one, and the purple person one. Soon after inescapable entrapment, he will start casting either surging flames, withering curse, or surging flood. For surging flames, you need to step into the ice one. For withering curse, into the purple person one. And for surging flood, into the frog one. You have a lot of time to resolve this mechanic, so no need to panic. You can step into the traps at about 70 to 80 percent of the cast. Note that when you step into the frog trap, it is recommended to step into another frog trap so you don't wait the entire duration of the buff. Once that is over, he will do another surge of vigor, which you need to dispel as soon as possible. Next mechanic will be Focus Tremor, followed by Flailing Strike. This Focus Tremor is a little different than the last one. He will summon two sets of square AoEs, the inner ones and the outer ones, which will go off in order. First will be the inner ones, then the outer ones, in the order that they spawned. At the same time, he will cast Flailing Strike. He will tether you with a series of cone AoEs going either clockwise or counterclockwise. You can place the starting point of these AoEs in a way so that it doesn't hit you. What worked for me is placing it on the opposite side of the first AoE, or around that area. 
After dodging the first set of AoEs, then the outer ones will start exploding, and at that point, you will do Vicious Swipe again, with a knockback after the AoE. You need to place yourself carefully, so you don't get hit by the outer AoEs. The way I dodged it here is a bit dangerous, but it works too if you're inside the boss. After that, you will cast an escapable entrapment again, with the only difference being that you will need to step into a trap twice. For example, you will cast Withering Curse, and right after, Surging Flood. That aside, there is nothing new here. Lastly, there will be a Surge of Vigor, and a repeat of mechanics until Enrage. The only difference is that he will cast Focus Tremor, same as the first one, but with Forest Marts this time. Sadly, I have no footage of this, but all you have to do is position properly, and it will be fine. Hopefully, this guide helped you better understand the fight. Any feedback is appreciated, and if you want to support the video or me, please go ahead. I plan to make more stuff in the future, hopefully.